Hi, I'm Ginger Ninja Trickster and I'm going to teach you how to do that. There's no prerequisite for this move, but I recommend you can do a back roll and pop to your feet. And a good degree of flexibility certainly helps with this move. The easiest way to first do the starfish kip up, in my opinion, is to sit down and space your legs. Now, some people will space their legs and have them straight. Some people will lift the leg of the one they're going to swing up so they can create more momentum in the move. That depends on you whether you get more momentum from that. Just pick the best way for you. Okay, now I'm going to be swinging my right. So if I'm swinging my right leg, that means I'm going to have to turn onto my left hip as I start. Because I need to roll onto this hip to circle and then start to go up. If I'm obviously leaning on the leg I'm going to kick with, I'm going against my hip and I won't be able to create any momentum. So, I'm leaning on this side. You can put one hand or two hands by the side. We're going to swing our leg like a rain kick. I'm going to circle it to an ankle crescent, and then the other one's going to spiral up. So just to start, with eight even trying to get it off the floor, all you want to get used to is swinging this leg like a rain kick, circling it to an outward, and then wrapping the other leg around, so you're spiralling up. As well as spiralling our legs, we also need to roll from the side of our body to our shoulders, place our hands down and get into position ready to pop up. Now, before you learn the pop up, what I want you to do is learn the motion to get there first. So, the leg motion stays exactly the same as earlier, spiralling. When we're doing this now, as we're circling, we're dropping onto the side of our body, rolling on top of our shoulders, placing both hands down and then going over ourselves. Now, obviously, I'm rolling over. What you'd end up doing is pushing up and going to your feet. But if you understand that motion, what you'll see is when we're swinging our leg, we stop midpoint, we're ending up basically in a back roll position. So that back roll push up I said about earlier, we're basically swinging into it, we're in the position for it, and then we're pushing up from there. So if you can do that move, it really helps with the pop up later on. Place your hands just above your shoulders. The move doesn't look as nice slow, but it will help you understand the motion, and when you do understand it, you will end up with a more explosive and clean starfish kipper. When you are comfortable getting into position for the pop-up, try and work out the timing of spiralling your legs, pushing off your shoulder and hands with each other to create momentum to get to your feet. Don't get stuck in the previous stage of spiraling your legs and rolling over yourself. Make sure you are kicking them upwards. This combined with pushing off your shoulders and hands will help create more momentum in your pocket so you can get to your feet more efficiently. With regards to your finishing position, you can face either way when you come back up. I'll show you what I mean. And now you're facing towards you. This is down to focusing on a point you want to fix and turning your torso and head to that direction as you land. Some of you might find you prefer to land one leg before the other when first doing this move. If not, try and learn it so you have variations with your starfish kip up. When you are confident with your starfish kip up, try and add variation to your landings or put it in a combo. Here are some examples. This concludes my tutorial on the Starfish Kip Up, also known as the Rising Windmill. So check my channel for other tutorials and subscribe for future tutorials. Thank you.